Thank you. Well, good morning. Um, to those of you who know my story, uh, you know that I came to Congress basically as a mom on a mission. A mom on a mission simply just to end gun violence. And yes, I'm very passionate about all of the policies that I work so hard with my colleagues on. But for me, being the mom on a mission to make sure what happened to me and my family does not happen to anyone else in the country is why I truly believe I'm here. And this moment, we are living in truly what feels like to me uh, an inflection point on nearly the decade long mission that I have been fighting on since I lost my son Jordan simply for playing loud music in his car. Parents know the fear that accompanies the deep love that we have for our children. It's a primal fear, it's a helpless fear. A love so deep that we worry every single day, you know, where is my child? What are they doing? Are they safe? Are they okay? And over the last few weeks, parents across the United States of America have watched helplessly as mothers and fathers at Uvalde were asked to do the unthinkable to submit DNA tests to seek a match with their children whose precious bodies were maimed beyond recognition. They have watched in places like Buffalo as the same racially motivated violence that took my son's life has been replayed again and again in our nation with casual callousness and just despicable frequency. I want to ask America, and I want to ask everyone in this room, is this an acceptable price to pay for a culture of access to guns everywhere? Unfettered access? Is this truly what our founding fathers envisioned for our nation? I would say not. That the lives of children are worth unfettered access to weapons of war on our streets? We can do better than this. We are the United States of America. We must be better than this. We cannot be the only nation in the developed world where our children are torn apart on Tuesday and their deaths are gone from the news cycle by Wednesday. That is why I am so grateful for this leadership and for our caucus in working to get my red flag bill and all of our bills, this phenomenal package that will save lives to the floor this week. Over the coming days, I look forward to the passage of not only my bill, but all these bills and any legislation that addresses gun violence prevention. Because we have solutions that the majority of Americans accept and agree upon. They believe in these solutions. They are common sense solutions and compromises that will keep Americans alive. We have the opportunity right now as a nation, to fully do what is right. We have the opportunity right now to address, as it was expressed, the carnage of gun violence in America. Because this is the time. Right now, this is the moment. We are facing the challenge of our lifetime. We must summon the courage to do what is right. This is the challenge of our era. Thank you. Uh, let me now